Right, so I've been doing this bit here. Uh, this bit here is a solder repair panel that's been put in at some time or other. And obviously I've got low spots either side of it because I only soldered in uh, a part panel, unlike the one that I've done on the door which went from post to post. So I want to try and smooth them off as the transition from that bit to this bit. Um, the side beams, I'm not going to go mad with them. I'm not going to go mad with them because they are so bent and twisted and rippled that there's a point of, well, where do you stop? So basically I've given them a good filler and then I sand down until I'm starting to bring back up the copper and that is where they're going to stay. Um, go too far and um, it's just going to be pointless because you might as well have just unsoldered them and replaced them. And uh, there's that one. I've got one little low spot just, just there. And again, there where it's had a, re a repair in there. And you can see it's had a repair square in there. So it's low here. So them to do. Um, there's the door post. And if I bring it around on the door, I've uh, got a bit of a low spot there. And a couple of little bits, but again, just roughly until it's smoothish. You can't you can't go super smooth. There's just there's just no way it's gonna happen. And again, down there. So, you know, it's, um, again, that's the transition. That's the, the repair panel into about that there. And then it's just um, fade out to the original panel. Um, it is what it is. I say, this top has had a hard life. Um, there's the repair panel that I let in. And that's um, all smooth in the top corners there. So, right. Anyway, I'm going to carry on doing this. Uh, I'll bring you back and show you some more um, whenever. This paint is um, self-priming, by the way. So you don't um, you don't need a separate primer. This will get plenty of coats. At least, um, well, an outpost got three coats, and it goes on there really well. This stuff. So this is where the painting has got us. Um, that is um, obviously the top piece. Um, here we have the uh, top frame, and this is the bulb that actually came with with the unit. <laughs> I've, I've painted it so it fits in there, and it looks actually quite good. Because by the time that's lit up, it will almost look like a flame. Um, so that's the top frame, and we've got uh, the, the lower cradle here with the earth wire and everything inside. And uh, here is the um, top part, and all I've got to do is clean the glass. So I started cleaning it just to put it in. Um, but now it's in. I can um, I can finish it off. Right. So this is how it's looking, and I've just rigged it up temporarily. Uh, I don't think I'm going to transport it like this, but um, although to be fair, it should be okay. It's going to sit on top of a lamp post like that. But um, there we have it. All the top assembled. Um, 
and as you can see what I've said all along about the way this all sits in so this is the lamp itself and you can see this is the frame and it sits in the frame, the frame supports it and it just, if I can pick it up it just sits in there all very strange but that's the way that it is and um, I've just quickly rigged up a, a lamp here it is you can turn all the lights off in here and what I've also done is um, I don't know whether you've seen this or not probably not there's um, a sheet of mirror glass at the top there which actually is looking quite dirty so I'll have to clean that um, the glass is not super clean but that's original glass I don't want to go too mad and um, let's um, yeah I don't know whether you can see it or not but it's original glass it's just slightly dirty uh, you could acid bath it or I could have put some newer glass in it but I didn't want to so I've actually used older glass to replace what was missing and broken so it all matches up um, the glass I've put in is slightly cleaner but um, it's you know it's still old glass so there we are it's a slightly wonky looking thing <laughs> but um, it looks really good actually I quite like it it's got character to it anyway so that's that bit obviously that bit's still sitting there that's ready to go on um, I want it in the three bits there's no way I'm going to be able to lift it on in one lump um, that, that top bit on its own is heavy enough in fact I'll lift that back off and I'll show you in a second there you go there's the thing on its own the, um, the lamp top on its own so strange old design with the special frame that supports it but um, you know that's the way they did it don't know why but there you go and uh, as you've seen the frame on its own right so next time you see this it's going to be um, hopefully up a lamppost <laughs>